Hey everybody, today's July 4th, uh, Independence Day, Monday 2016, and this is the YouTube community news. Let's go! Okay, in this next one, it seems like Leafy is here has been hacked by Protocol, the infamous um, hacker that is able to get into people's YouTube accounts. Um, what Protocol has done previously, they hack into other major accounts like Pluto, I mean Boogie2988, uh, Superwoman, and many others. Seems like he's able to find techniques to just get into anybody. Um, this one just uh, happening, breaking right now, is on um, Leaf, Leafy is here, has been hacked by Protocol. We go to his Twitter, um, Leafy is here, say that um, he got help from three other people um, to get, so get access back to his account. And he also thanks Protocol for giving it back to him. Uh, when we went to his YouTube site, the title is still changing back to normal. Before, um, after it was hacked, um, all of them have been changed to the title of Hacked by Protocol. So that's pretty much breaking and developing right now. Um, and Protocol is going to make it into the summer of 2016. Um, where he hacked into major um, YouTube accounts. Alright, that's that with Leafy is here, Hacked by Protocol. And in another news around the YouTube universe, we see RiceGum releasing a video around um, 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. It's uh, another one, These Kids Must Be Star, version 6. In it, he attacks even younger kids now who are like, you know, um, trying to do musically to graphical lyrics, um, adult lyrics in his video. Um, basically, he wears uh, a Supreme T-shirt now. Um, that's his uh, like a representation company um, doing this stuff. So in his uh, you know in the first hour there were like 400 views, 400,000 views uh, for this new video. Uh, in it, it features like um, several little girls, um, even younger than 10 years old, uh, who are dancing, uh, having fun, um, trying things out. Um, and he compares it to Jacob Sartorius, uh, saying that one of the girls he featured was like very related, relatable and even um, very similar to Jacob Sartorius. Um, yeah, he featured like very like more, more than five kids. So I don't know about the subjectivity of uh, Rice Gum. Is he trying to get views or what? Um, there's no need to attack these little kids since they're trying to have fun and all that um personally i have no opinion about the quality and and the interestingness of these contents by these young people but you know like as you know rice gum is attracted to these kind of younger kids and their activities uh, he talks about why they're doing that and say oh my god this is outrageous uh, where their parents and so forth like that. So these are the themes that that's raised by Rice Gum, and he also mentioned that within this week he'll be releasing this track and so forth like that. Um, all right, that's that with uh, the happening of Rice Gum uh, releasing a video today, Monday, Monday July fourth, twenty sixteen. All right, that's it with that. Seems like Keemstar, our favorite guy on YouTube is added again in his own defense um, what defense is against a kid named josh a he did 11 over 11 minutes of a defense against a former friend of his who accused him of being like a bad person doing bad things in his 11 minute rant kimsa just stated how in his course of history with this person interaction he basically befriended him and somehow this uh, kid, Josh A, uh, started complaining about Keemstar stuff. Like, keep on growing and growing and made nine videos complaining against Keemstar, which his other adversary, Grey A under A and um, Leafy, uh, took to that and keep on using it to attack 
Kimsta. So Kimsta basically just said that, like, you know, the insults and accusations are not legit from this guy named Josh A. Me. I also have the videos of him swatting me. Now, even though I covered some of the backstory with Josh A already, I feel like I kind of need to briefly outline it again since it was evident to anyone with a fully functioning brain that many people didn't even watch it at all. They just came to dislike Bomb, and by the way, thank you for that. You've only proved me right when I called you fucking sheep. I first came in contact with Josh A. in August of 2014. He reached out to me asking if I wanted to be on one of his music tracks. I responded positively by offering to help him out. I actually did three things for him. Sa um, and he just kept on going and going for 11 minutes and he warned all the people in the future and in the past if he was like creating videos for views to insult Keemstar they should be ready to take a response back from Keemstar insult to them now even like people are harassing the harassers of Keemstar by calling them their house going to their house and various other things so Kim Sa said that is a don't mistake, and I apologize for it. Hey Josh, I just seen your video, and I guess I owe you an apology. Um, and I had no idea that your last name was in your Skype, so I'm sorry. So I deleted the tweet. He forgives the mistake, and I also apologize again privately. And if he could kindly take the video down. But he literally says having a video like this helps him eat helps him pay rent. This is literally the reason he gives me for wanting to keep the video up. So I offer a solution which would work out for the best of both of us by posing the possibility that I could financially compensate him for it. Don't even, even try to consider insulting Keemstar because this is what happens and so forth like that. Um, hopefully this conflict with Keemstar and his all major adversaries can we solve this um, later on? Um, you know, Kimsa does uh, drama alert, and he basically does what he does. Uh, sometimes he's a joker, and he's not a saint. Um, so when you look at this like view and take it on the people that is like accusing him, they are not saints as well. So you know, everybody like you know, fucking chill, you know. Um, take a chill pill and you know like get on with the other stuff I guess if not they just want to get views on their videos um, all right that's that with the Kim star saga defending himself again against another hater of his called Josh a okay this is concerning the continued development of uh, online and innovative online gambling sites uh, featuring gambling with uh, uh, real-time action games like Call of Duty and so forth like that uh, concerning Syndicate, uh, CSGO uh, and others um, and that's a H3H3 happens to be trying to expose these guys um, excuse me I already exposed these guys by exposing the dynamics and also the business behind it uh, as you know these new gambling sites does not have a lot of funding um, when they initially released a new video by FaZe uh, by FaZe member uh, saying that he wants $60,000 on a gambling site you basically know this is like a BS kind of video because there's no way that a new website have enough funding to give out $60,000 to novice gambler without any gambling experiences uh, to everyone uh, going there after I initially exposed this because it's a new website and lacks the funding, um, they mitigated um, you know the criticism by you know uh, altering their winnings. They're saying that oh my god, I won several hundred dollars and then several like ten, twenty dollars. Um, but they say it's like oh my god, this is a good feeling. I expose them again that when they have these kind of tactics it's basically to trick new gamblers to put in a lot of money and lose a tremendous a lot of money so they can fund uh, these gambling sites revenue what it is is like the 
gig is how to like make you say, oh, you lost your money. That's okay, because you're a beginner. Um, please put in a ton more money into your account so you can learn the experience to gamble and then win the money back. Of course, the whole idea behind this is like you continue to get, you know, hooked on gambling, thinking you win a little bit but lose a ton. You can win it back, but you can't. The whole tale about this is not sustainable. It's basically you just show the people that you can win a lot, but you low in actuality, you lose a ton of money continuously and continuously. It doesn't take H3, H3 to tell these people that they are like, you know, you know, just like every gambling, you know, effort. Um, basically to trick you is easy to win and basically tell you to put in a lot of money and lose a lot of money and tell you that it's just okay to lose a lot of money in the beginning because you're winning back by putting in more money and win it back which in reality you lose more money all right that's that with the expose of these uh, innovative gambling sites but again let me like emphasize that i think the face people are really cool uh syndicates is really cool but their business practice is just not legit yet uh, because they don't have the experience in doing these kind of things. All right, that's that um, with these uh, innovative gambling sites. Okay, that about do it for today um, in this edition. Uh, if you made it this far and you enjoyed the news, um, please give me a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Um, today is uh, July 4th, Independence Day, Monday 2016. Uh, thank you for listening.